Hello everybody, this is Michael Smiley coming back at you with another review video. Thanks for checking in. Um, today I want to talk about the TV show Rain. Oh, I'm not always good at doing this kind of stuff, but... Um, so, Rain has to do with a story about Mary Queen of Scots, but it's a lot more detailed than that. It also intertwines her story with Catherine de' Medici, um, the Queen of France, or the Queen Mother of France, and Elizabeth, Queen Elizabeth I of England. And um, so this show is so good. Um, it's historical fiction because what the writers did is they took um, main historical events that were important and wrote a story around their own fictional story around the, the historically, you know, the historical uh, plot points and stuff like that. Um, <clears throat> so that's to do with Mary Queen of Scots. Catherine de' Medici of France, and then Queen Elizabeth the First of England. Um, so, the show lasted four seasons. It is really good, um, especially if you're into period pieces and drama and emotion, and you know. But this show had a lot of twists and turns and shock value, and. Um, Obviously, the wardrobe was incredible. Um, <clears throat> the castles and landscaping and all that stuff. It was so beautiful. Like, they did an excellent job. Um, they did an excellent job with keeping the story going and the pacing and all that stuff. The and it's one of my favorite shows. It, it's really great. The actors, the actresses, everything about it. Um, I think that this because it aired on the CW network, which is one of the I can't stress enough on how amazing the CW network is. Um, it's the most underrated network, and it's probably the best network. It doesn't have a million procedurals on it, and you know rely on sports fans and all that stuff which is fine everyone has their own tastes but um i think that the cw dropped the ball when it came to rain because i think that they should have at least renewed it for because it only lasted four seasons i think that they should have renewed it for a fifth and final season if they were going to cancel it or end it the way that they did because i think that they could have really gotten into the rebellions and the turmoil that really happened in the fifth season or you know in the possible fifth season if they would have renewed it for a fifth season um that being said it's said and done they ended it on four seasons and it really did have a really great series finale, even though it didn't. It should have lasted another season. Um, the series finale, though, was really great. They really did an amazing job with the series finale. Um, they made it really emotional. They made it really. Oh, it was a roller coaster. The show was a roller coaster, <clears throat> but. Um, I think that they could have done a lot more with it. I mean, there are shows that are being renewed on the network right now that had less ratings than Rain did and less viewers, so I don't understand why Rain was on the chopping block like that. Um, it's not like they required, you know, the greatest special effects in the world and the budget was huge or anything. I mean, the wardrobe probably was, you know, 50% of their budget, but, um, like, Megan Follows did an amazing job. She was born to play Catherine Dimitri, Dimitri, sorry, and, um, 
Like, there is no other actress that could have played her. And I really love Rain because, um, first of all, my favorite historical ruler is Queen Elizabeth I of England. Elizabeth Tudor was the greatest ruler, in my opinion, who ever lived and probably will ever live. She just had that... She was intelligent. She... And she just did not let men around her, especially at that time, to engulf her in their, in their stupidity, really. Um, and I'm really glad about the show ring because I... I knew, obviously, about Queen Elizabeth I of England, Elizabeth Tudor, and um, and I'm glad that when I first watched the show, <coughs> sorry, when I first watched the show, um, I thought that it was about Mary Tudor and, you know, her eventual psychotic break where she was having a bunch of uh, Protestants murdered and everything in her reign and everything, but it, it was not, thankfully. And it was about Mary, Queen of Scots. And I'm really happy about that because I don't think that um, they really show much from her perspective, historically speaking. Um, like, yes, if you're from Scotland and everything, you're going to know a lot more. But for, like, an American audience, somebody that didn't know a lot about Mary got to, you know, even though a lot of it is historical fiction in the show, it still was centered around historical events that did happen. Um, and I think that the actress, sadly, Kane, Kane um, really did an amazing job. Um, I think that's how you pronounce her name. Um, and she's a really good actress. She, she was in, uh, after the show ended, she was in, um, season seven of Once Upon a Time, one of my, another one of my all-time favorite shows. Um, and... Um, Rachel Scarston did an amazing job as Elizabeth. I think that... I think that she... I think that she was really good. I, I, I love her as an actress. I loved her. Um... I loved her in the Lost Girl series. Um... And a couple of other things. And it's really funny because she's a really great actress and sh and she's randomly placed in different shows and stuff like that. And um, I'm actually really looking forward to her being the villain in the new Batwoman series on the CW network that's hopefully going to be taking off this year. So I'm really excited about that. Back on to Rain. Um... So, I think that each season of Rain is better than the previous seasons. I think that they worked on and built from, and I think that they did an excellent job of that. Um, like I said, Megan Follow Megan Follow's really on the show, though. I mean, I was so excited to see what was going to go on with Catherine most because you never knew what was going to go on. Catherine was so intelligent. Another Catherine, just like Catherine Pierce from the Vampire Diaries. Funny. Um, but, like, they could have even made a spinoff of the Valois family. Um, but, anyway... There's so many possibilities and so many potential places that they could have went with it. And it's really sad that that's a big mistake that the CW made, in my honest opinion. Um, because they it, they could have just went so far with it. They could have even done other historical leaders during the time period. And they could have just 
they could have just done more. Um, I do highly recommend it. The first four seasons are on um, Netflix. And I just... I think that the acting was really great. I think that they didn't, you know, the whole medieval type vibe thing was really cool. Um, yeah, I, I, I just loved it. And I think that everyone should check it out because I think that it is an excellent series. Um, and I wish that they could have done more with it. So there's my review. Um, I wish that they would put it on 4K and Blu-ray. Um, but that's a story for a different day. Um, yep. So, I'll talk to you guys later. If you like my review videos, just like, subscribe. You know, the whole nine yards. Um, give me some feedback. I love feedback. Any feedback is good feedback. So, and I'll reply to as many as I can. Um, then have a great day and until next time.